and hello Mapo fans welcome, welcome to my DIY today and I'm out here I've got some material I'm going to show you how to make a kilt the Orgils are way into kilts and I thought I need to get one but they're like 70 80 90 dollars so I bought this material I can make two of them and it cost me 22 dollars so I'll show you how to do that really easy and I have five yards and we're just going to cut it in half. I'm just going to take the scissors and cut right along there so that it's in half. Because see, it's double. You know, when you buy it, it's double, double. So I'm not going to unfold it. That will be my guideline. And this will be the length of the skirt, the kilt. <laughs> the kilt. Okay, let's do, do that much. I, okay, I cut, cut it in half. So now I've got enough to make two kilts so let's put this material over here oh and this is five yards did i tell you it was five yards now lay it flat we're going to make some pleats and let's get that all laid out and i'll show you how to make the pleats all righty so we leave this from your one hip to the other hip we leave that part ungathered so about I don't know whatever your length is your width and this is from the waist to the knee and so we won't start making our pleats till here so you just grab the material pull it forward okay and um, pin it so you don't lose that pleat and you pull it again towards you. Do about 10 of those pleats. Okay. About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do a couple more. Do one more, make sure it's big enough. Now let's plug in our iron and we're going to iron iron these pleats down here. So I kind of wanna get them all set up. I'm going to show you how the pleats look. Okay, I've pinned across here. Now I'm going to go down six inches and pin across here. And I will sew and sew. And then I'll show you how to wrap the kilt on you. And you buy plaid material. Buy plaid, you won't be sad. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just going to sew. Sew what? <laughs> okay, stop. Okay, so across here, back stitch, back stitch. So across here, back stitch, back stitch. And a good length uh, for the pleated part, 16 to 20 inches, and this front part, 16 to 20 inches. If you need it larger, then make it larger. And if you got a skinny, if you're a skinny mini, then make it thinner. But average. 16 to 20 inches. I'll to show you how to wrap it on. You need a belt to kind of help hold it up. But let me show you how to do that. Take that straight part and I kind of tuck it in my pants to kind of hold it. Then you bring the pleated part around, around you. And then you bring the straight part again and then tuck it in a little bit and this part goes up and over your shoulder like that you take your belt wrap it around cinch it tight to hold that up there we go 
and then get a safety pin and just kind of just kind of pin it at the top here like so okay that is your kilt let me see if you can see it okay you're ready to go kilting and I have enough material to make another one so I'll make another one so I'm matching with someone uh, me and my sisters they have a Scottish festival down in Payson so I'll be ready we can wear our kilts <laughs> well thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and happy kilting and re remember my DIYs come out every Friday at 2 see you next time